to demonstrate the construction of the loot of Pythagoras, we want to start out with a pentagon, a regular pentagon. So we indicate where we want the center. We want it about a third of the way. And click and then go out. And then we come down until we get to five points. From here, we want to adjust it. We want the right side to be as close to perpendicular as possible. And then we might want to enlarge it just a tad and adjust it to where it is as close to perpendicular as possible. From here, we want to add some lines, or actually we want to do an array because we don't know where it want, we want it to end up. We start at one of the corner, go through another corner, then come down at the opposite side and repeat the process. Once we get both of the corners done, or both of the rays done, we hit Escape. Then we need to expand the rays to the, until they cross. Once they cross, then we have our shape, and then we can go back and change them from a ray to a segment, and pick our point, and you'll see that it shows it as intersection point and we want to come here where it lays right on top of the other. Once this is done, we can go to our rays and we can hide them. We can also hide our center of the pentagon. Now we're ready to join the points and we are going to go to line segment again. Start at the vertex, click once, go to the opposite side, click, come back until we, we want to click it twice actually here to say we're starting or we're stopping. Click again, go here, one more time, come here, and additional time, and when we finish, we have an inside pentagon with an outside star. Notice also each of the points of the star is an isosceles triangle, which we can have, our, have the students come up with the angles, the interior angles, all three of the angles. Also, outside of two of the points is another isosceles triangle. And then we have a rhombus if we look at this side. And another rhombus if we look over here. We have all kinds of triangles. We have a triangle here and all other different kinds of and several different other shapes. Now we want to continue and repeat the pattern. So we want to come back to a circle. We want to designate one of the corners as the center, come to the intersection to indicate the end of the circle, come back to the other side and repeat the process. That way we have this side is equal to this side, this side, and this side. We finish it up by putting a line segment from the intersection of the circle and the side to the opposite side and circle. And if you notice, you can tell if you've got a nice straight line if they are parallel. Once we have done this, we can then uh, hide our circles again. So we are done with those. And we want to do some more line segments, repeating the process. We start from the point here, go back, pick up the same point, go to the other side, 
from there back up to the original and then complete the star by doing the segment. Okay, we are through here, so now we want to repeat this process again. So we're going to go to circle. We're going to go from the point to the intersection, from the point opposite to the intersection. Now we're ready once again to do the segment from this intersection point to this intersection point. And again, it's a straight line, which is what we want to see. Once again, we can hide our circles. And we're ready to add our line segments. We can go from the side to the center to the side until we get all of the lines that we need. If we want to really be adventuresome, then we can add another yet by going to the center to the intersection. Repeat the process yet again. Finish it off again by doing a segment and the intersection point. And again, it is a nice parallel line, which is exactly what we want. From here, we want to hide our circles again, repeating the process. Now we're ready to add our line segments. Again, just making all the connections of the vertices of the pentagon. Okay. And that gives you several different ones. We can illustrate the ones that are similar, which gives us another concept to explore. Similar. We have the pentagons in the center that are the same shape but different sizes. We have the stars in the center. We have kind of the arrows in the center, etc., etc., etc. One of the challenges or one of the challenges for the students or discovery is to have them come up with as many different relationships as possible. This would include congruent, such as this line segment, and this line segment, and this line segment, this and this, as well as that are similar, such as this pentagon, this pentagon, and so forth. And from that, you can extend it to have them try to come up with other figures that would have similar repetitive patterns.